What percentage of uh, species in the universe are not in the GFL and are trying to control things? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, immediately, I would say around 40% are not involved in the Galactic Federation. Okay. And is it mostly 3D physical bodies sort of species that are like on a ship somewhere? What's the, what's the scene like? What does it look like? Yeah, so um, there are many motherships all over the universe in like there are multiple motherships in each galaxy um, around the universe. And uh, that's kind of where the Galactic Federation headquarters are. Um, of course, there are a couple of planets that they inhabit as well, but mostly just to, in order to be mobile, in order to go where they need to go, um, you know, they're mostly just kind of on these giant motherships, uh, which really does look like a whole country when you're on one of these motherships. They're huge. And what's really cool about going to these motherships is you can see all of the different species from all the like the whole universe. So it's like this beautiful kind of amalgamation of um, beings and vibrations and intellect levels and even what they look like are also different. So it's it's so uh, multicultural and uh, diverse and, and they would never say no to anyone as long as the intention is pure. So, uh, you know, it brings up kind of the process of getting involved in the Galactic Federation. Um, a lot of beings that I've spoken to, you know, uh, one of my main questions is, how did you get here? Like, how did you get involved in the Galactic Federation? It's quite rare that beings are born on the ships, but because they have a multitude of hybrid programs, there are many beings who are born on the ships. If that the hybrid being or the being who is born into the Galactic Federation says, I don't want to be a part of this, they have the freedom to leave at any time. Um, but mostly it's uh, different individual beings who are on their home planet who are like, you know what, this is great, but this just isn't, just isn't enough for me. And I'm ready for something more. I'm ready to kind of really support and help out and give back. And that's when, um, you know, either they get contacted by the Galactic Federation or they choose to contact the GFL. And they're like, hey, I want to be a part of your organization. And then they actually go through a rigorous amount of training and testing. Mm. And what the training does is it puts that being in the right position in the Galactic Federation. So it's very different is there's no, like, I don't want to say that there's no hierarchy because there are different, like, I don't know what you would call them, like ambassadors or captains, but they don't look at it as like in it being in a different position. Every being gets put in the position that aligns with their vibration. So say, for example, instead of education on this planet, it would just be a, a series of tests that really test who you are, what your personality is like, what your vibration aligns with. And then it's like, boom, boom, boom. All right, Elizabeth, you are suited to be a painter. And that's the position that you could be in for this lifetime or for this, whatever, for this role. And that being chooses, okay, well, I have three choices of what my vibration aligns with. And so this is the one out of the three that I'm going to go for. There are rare scenarios where the being gets put into a position that aligns with their vibration. They don't uh, end up maybe driving with it or they feel like maybe this isn't aligned to them. Because I've asked that question too. I'm like, okay, just because you give them a position that's based on their vibration, you know, what if they don't like it? And once again, they always have the option to go to a council to say, look, this just isn't working out for me. Everyone else is so happy in this position, but I'm not. And then they go through another series of tests uh, or interviews and they get put into a an alternate position. So I think their system of how they kind of place individuals is really key. And it could potentially be something that we could look at here on planet Earth later down the line. Yeah, I was thinking probably a lot of people who are struggling to find their purpose or their, their thing here might really like to have someone give them some vibrational match choices. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Hey, friend. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this particular clip, then I have something else I want to tell you about, which is the League of Superconductors. It's a business mastermind that I run to elevate the greatest change makers of our time. That is people that I like to call quantum entrepreneurs, uh, metaphysical, spiritual teachers, healers, coaches, light workers of different types. And this is a year long 
business mastermind starting in May of 2022. So if that's the type of thing that you're looking for, if you're looking to better fuel your mission by having a business that brings in all the abundance you're looking for that both operates at the 3D level, serving the people of Earth, and at a multi-dimensional level, bringing in all of the higher wisdom and experience that you have access to, uh, that's that's what we're doing. So if that sounds like something for you, then you can check out the link below, read a little bit more about the program, what we do uh, each month, and um, I also invite you to apply for a call with me, a strategy session. We can get to know each other, I'll coach you a little bit, and you can decide if that might be the exact thing that you've been looking for. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.